Hey there, welcome to this channel. My name is Alexander and on this channel we make free tools for learning with Anki faster and better. So uh, hit the like button, subscribe and uh, let's get started. So I have some coffee here and we're gonna take it really slow today. Mm, so no rush, just uh, try to follow along. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new Notion page here which um, is gonna um, have um, some prefectures in Japan and uh, in th we're not gonna create ones for all of them uh, but we're gonna create it for the six uh, northern ones um, towards Hokkaido here and um, what I want to show you how to do is how you can basically use images more effectively with um, Notion to Anki so if you're not familiar with Notion to Anki it's a free tool which uh, takes your Notion exports and converts them to flashcards. And uh, the goal is to make it easier and faster for you. So some students say uh, or have told me that they save hours. Like no, since Notion to Anki is so fast, they can save like r literally hours copy pasting between Notion and um, Anki. So I hope this is gonna be useful to you too. So I'm gonna show you some of my process and um, also worth noting, which we're not gonna cover here, is closed deletion support got added. So play around with that with the command B option on Mac OS and command control E on Windows. But the video on that is coming soon. So maybe it's even ready in the description or maybe somewhere around here in the frame. So cool. Um, let me just double check something. So um, here we have the map. So we, let's start off by first noting everything down. So Hokkaido, and I know this is not effective, but I like doing it. It makes me feel productive. <laughs> so who cares if it, there's no science behind typing out stuff like uh, Miyagi and Fukushima. And that's two, four, five, six, seven. We need one. Yeah, I think that's fine actually. Let's cover this. So they, we cover, we're covering the yellow part and then the red part. So what I would do then is I would just go on um, Google and type uh, Hokkaido. You can see I've searched for it before and I'll look at um, images. This one looks nice. So let's take copy image and then I would go here in Notion and I would just paste the image. All right, so you can't have images here on the top part, you see. If you paste images there, it's just gonna be added. That's why I, we added the text first. Let's move on to um, the next one, Aomori. And this one also looks nice. So Wikipedia has a lot, lots of images. And so let's uh, add those. And then we have Akita and same strategy. Just search for images and pick, uh, yeah, this is a dog. <laughs> That's not what we're looking for. So Akita Prefecture. And I'm sure you can find all of these in one Wikipedia page. So let's go do that. Uh, we have Akita and then if we go to um, Wikipedia, there is a page called uh, Prefecture something. Prefecture. Um, hmm. It's um, Japan. Prefecture, so let's search for it. Prefectures of Japan, cool. So um, there should be a list. Uh, yeah. So Iwate, yeah, there we have it. So really what we're learning about is the Hokkaido and Tohoku regions. So let's, uh, we have, we just added Akita. So let's um, add, um, Iwate, there, and I like this image, so let's copy this one too, paste it in there, and then we have um, Yamagata, so I don't really know if I'm pronouncing this right, so if I'm batching, uh, botching it, guys, sorry, it's, uh, I'm just trying to read what's written there. <laughs> Um, this is my homework for uh, my Japanese class. I have to learn this maps. Uh, so the next one is um, 
Miyagi. And the way you know that is that you can see it's a little bit grayed out. The, the toggle lists, uh, which are darker on the left hand side, means that it has something inside of it. So let's look at Miyagi. There, copy. And then we have one more. And I like removing white spaces inside of them if I only have one image. So let's close those tabs. And let's add Fukushima. There. Bam, there we got them. So let's double check them. This one looks nice, Fukushima, uh, Miyagi. So the images uh, seem to take a while to load because they're so big. So if you don't like that, you can resize your images before adding them. Mm. I don't mind it. I have so fast internet normally. <laughs> mm. This is my first cup of coffee today, so it feels good. It feels very good. Remove white space. So you don't have to remove the white space. I just like doing it. It looks nicer, much more compact. There. There. So that, that's our um, um, our setup. And uh, just note that I have colons in the deck name. And that's because um, if we take a look at uh, Anki here, I have grouped stuff. Uh, group decks, so I want my decks to show up in this section, right? So geography, Japan, and regions. So uh, that's why I have this uh, weird colon naming convention there, in case you were wondering what's going on. So um, I'm gonna hit the three dots up there, which is gonna show me this uh, context menu, and I want to hit the export, and then pick the HTML option. And that's going to generate the uh, HTML file. Which we and then we should head on to uh, Notion to Anki. Yeah, so this is what I want to show you. Um, here in the card types, change it to just the reverse. So what that is going to do is it's going to change the front with the image. So you get the image first because we're learning maps. So we don't really need to... If you want, you can have both. But I would prefer the just remembering the map sections. And you can use image occlusion and uh, other projects for this, but if you like using Notion, this is an approach you can use. And when you upload and hit convert, it should take uh, just a little bit, a moment, uh, depending on your internet bandwidth and the image sizes. And then um, when it's downloaded, what you can do is you go to Anki, and then inside of Anki, you'll just click the import file and then locate your APG file, open it, and then you should uh, hopefully see a dialog that it imported. And you can see for me it created um, here the Japan's prefecture, right? You can see that. So if we go there, and you can see this is no idea, I don't remember that. So you can see the image comes first now, and then you have to guess what it is. So I don't remember that again. I don't remember that either, <laughs> Fukushima. Uh, this, I don't remember. This is close to Hokkaido, so it's Akita, probably. No, it's A A Aomori, okay. This is Hokkaido, 100%. Because it's the, yeah, furthest away, easy to remember. This, I don't know. Yamagata. Akita. Again. So, I don't, I'm having issues remembering this, so I would try to find mnemonics and then add those images. But um, we can do that in another video. And uh, yeah, so that's uh, essentially how you add um, maps or create maps with Notion Donkey. Thank you for watching and uh, happy learning.